Hey guys, it's Cody Saucy here, and today I'm playing a game of War Thunder. Now, you guys are probably thinking, where's Total Gamer? He's not going to be here for a little bit, he's having some technical issues, but nonetheless, I'm still going to be here doing the videos, and I hope you guys enjoy. So let's dive right in. War for those of you who don't know, War Thunder is pretty much a World War II style plane fighter bomber game. It has five different research trees, including the United States, Germans, um, Russians, British, and the Japanese. Now, I'm going to be playing the United States for this time, and every country or every research tree has a research tree, pretty much. Yeah, I said that wrong. No. Anyway, there's a bunch of different planes that you get, and you earn them by getting all the planes. Like, let's say I get this plane, which I'm saving up for, and I'm um, researching it. The Thunderbolt. Then I can next research the P-63's King Cobra, which is a really good plane. It's something. It's like the father of the Air Cobra. Anyway, this the game the um planes that I that don't have money next to them is the ones I have bought so I have some I have a variety of fighters and bombers like the PBY the A20G which is an attacker and I'm going to be playing an arcade battle today which brings me to my next point there are three different battle types there's arcade battle realistic battle and simulator battles so the best way to show you is I'm gonna jump right into an arcade battle. The difference between the arcade and the realistic is that arcade you have the four planes in your queue or more depending on how many planes you have bought in your queue. You have all those planes so if you die you jump right into the next one. But in historical or that's what they used to be called but now realistic battles you can only you use one plane and once you die that's game over for you. So, I've, I've done this map before, I'm familiar with it, so I'm going to bring out my P-38G Lightning. I just got this plane yesterday, and so far I'm very happy with the results of this plane. Okay, so this game, this map, is a, a base bombing map. There's three bases on the enemy team, and we have to destroy all three of them, and then get their airfield which is that little strip on the map. I can't point to it, but yeah. So, right now, I'm going to try and go after a plane that's on the on the side by itself. So this P-47, or this P-47, looks like it's a little alone, so I won't get bombarded by its friends. But, we'll see what happens, unless they turn after me, which I think... That make three might go after me. But I'm going for this guy. Yep, they're not going after me. In this game, there's um, three different, for a fighter, there's three different view types. There's third person, first person, which is the cockpit, which is different on every plane. This one I really like, it has all the gauges and stuff. And then, um, oh my gosh. Yep, I just got hit by a cannon from a Aracobra, which this plane, I got too carried away explaining and he snuck up on me. Oh, okay, so he critically damaged my wing, so now it's really hard to pull up. Oh, yep. That just, that happened last game too, I don't know, I think it's just this plane's, this plane's wings are very fragile. The, the the littlest shot from a cannon, or actually, I, he might have even hit me with one of those bazookas that he has attached to his plane, but the littlest hit will just tear your wing right in half. Okay, so now I'm going out with my Air Cobra, and I'm going to take revenge on that guy. Yes. He's right over there. That one, that first shot when I was in first person mode, almost killed me. That was nice. Okay, so this is the cockpit for the Air Cobra. I'm gonna make sure I'm not getting snuck up on. 
Nope. Okay, I'm gonna go after this guy. So there's three views. There's fir uh, first person, this simulated kind of thing, and then there's third person. I'm gonna use third person because I think I just find it easier. He's going after our ground forces, so I'm gonna go get this guy. This plane, this particular plane, has six machine guns, grounding machine guns, and one cannon. I'm not sure how many millimeters, but I'm sure it's one cannon on the front, right there on the nose. So I'm closing in on this guy. Now I'm going to aim at the reticle, a little in front of the reticle. Aircraft destroyed. Boom. One kill. Okay. That cannon, it can just shoot out anything. This, I'm, it's a really nice cannon in the front of this. Sticking out of the and now I think this guy is coming on my way. So we'll see, we'll test his luck. Or test my luck with this cannon. Okay, he's coming right for me. Aircraft destroyed. Boom. Second kill. He didn't even touch me. Yeah, I really like this aircraft. The, the cannon on this thing is just phenomenal. So, up oh, there's another air cobra, the guy who killed me. I think we're gonna go take some revenge. Unless that P-63 comes too close to me, I'm gonna have to take care of him. Yeah, I'll take care of him first, and then go for him. Yeah, he's coming straight for him. Oh, whoa! I think I might have gotten a little too close. And I'm still flying. Wait, can I shoot someone? BF-109. Can I shoot him? Nope. Up. Oh, I had to abort. That was cool, though. I've never flown without my wings before. That's fun. Okay. So that's two deaths for me. And I think two aircraft kills. Oh. Uh, two aircraft kills, but I'm gonna go after this H-22 because it's a really easy plane to take down because of its large size. You can just hit one of its engines and it's down. There's like no question about it. It's so heavy, it needs both its engines to work. Okay, shoot, 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 Oh, I think I think I hit my friend for a second. Um, yep, he got destroyed, I think. Oh, whoa. Yeah, he got... He's getting destroyed. Let me see if I can take the kill. Hit him twice. He's on fire. Enemy kill assist. There. And I can shoot him a few more. Get some points. Before he dies, yep. Okay, so this base is at half. They bombed it twice, it looks like. And the hole's in the ground. There's another H-20G over there. But I really want to go get revenge on that guy that killed me. Is he still in that same... His name was... Oh! He is the number one leader with three kills and one assist. I have two kills and one assist. And I... The top player on our game, in our team, has four kills. And then second has 14 ground kills. I think he's an attacker, probably. Okay, I'm going after this P-32. This is a lightning. Which is what I am in, so I'm going to do what that other guy did and aim for the wings. Oh. Now this is the Corsair. And it has the biggest ammo capacity, I think, in the game. It just is... Um, oh. He just got shot at. Ow. Oh. And enemy kill assist. So that it brings me to two kills, two assists. I think I'm going to go after these P3Q. Let's see. Oh, wait. Who's coming up behind me? Okay, I'll ignore him because I think he's going after someone else. But I'm going to go after the P-39Q. Oh, did I say 38? Oops. 
totally different, guys. 39. Okay. So at seven, a point seventy kilometers, there's a reticle that pops up that shows where you should aim. But that thing, if you aim right at it, it you rarely get a, a hit because the game doesn't calculate that the plane is moving. So it's going to. We need to aim a little in front of it. Or a little. Oh, I'm gonna have to report this guy. And get this guy off my tail. Or at least survive until the game's done. Because at the top there's a point leader, and they're almost dead. So many G's. Oh, yeah, when you're turning, you get G's. So if you get too many, you can start to like black out. It's, oh, dude, I'm not gonna have this guy after. Oh, he just shot my wheel off. Pull up. Oh. He just rammed my, he rammed my wing. I hate rammers, they're just not cool at all whatsoever. You're, you'll be going in this big bomber and someone, this little fight will just come by and snip your wing and you're done. Okay, so we just won that match and I, that was three deaths, two um, aircraft destroyed and two assists. I had two critical hits, 20 hits on the planes, um, I was 91% active, and this is what I got in terms of research points. Okay. And I'll call that a pretty successful battle. I earned about $9,000, $9, which isn't bad at all. Okay, guys, so I think we're out of time for this episode. I want to keep them short and sweet, but... Please like and like the video and comment and please subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next time.